Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about some shapes of some common distributions and where the measures of center, specifically the mean and the median, tend to lie on distributions like those. So we're going to start with kind of our more basic distribution, which is a uniform distribution. So things to notice about a uniform distribution is that all of our categories have approximately the same number of items in them. Otherwise, our data is uniformly distributed over its range. In a distribution like that, because it is symmetrical, our mean and our median tend to be the same or very close to the same, and they just lie in the center of the distribution. So uniform distribution, everything is nice and simple. Mean and median are right in the center. Looking at our next shape of a distribution that we can encounter, we can have a very symmetrical distribution. We would call this mound shaped, meaning that it looks kind of like a hill or a mountain. We notice that most of the data values are clustered towards the center and they decrease symmetrically on either side of the distribution. Because most of our data lies right in the center and we are symmetrical on either side, again, with this distribution, our mean and our median tend to be about the same, if not the same, and they lie right in the center of our distribution. So our uniform and our any other type of symmetrical distribution tend to have the same median and mean, and those values tend to lie right in the center. Of course, not every distribution is nice and symmetrical, so we want to look at what happens to those measures of center if we aren't quite symmetrical. Now, there are lots of different asymmetrical distributions, but two common ones that we're going to encounter are a skewed right and a skewed left distribution. So when we talk about something being skewed, that is simply the opposite of being symmetrical in our vocabulary here. And notice that the direction that we claim the skew to be in is towards what we would call the tail. So we skew to the tail. What that means is that the bulk of our distribution lies on one side but we have a few larger or smaller outliers or atypical values down at one end or the other. So in a skewed right, we have mostly values that lie here on the left-hand side, but over to the right, we have just a few much larger values. When we're skewed left, that is flipped around. Most of our values are over here on the right-hand side, on the larger side, but we have a few smaller values down there in the tail. So we talked about our measures of center, our mean and our median, being resistant, right? So what we will find is that when we have a skewed distribution, our mean and our median are no longer usually the same. So in a skewed right distribution, we will find that our median tends to be about there, maybe, kind of in the center, because think about there are a lot more data values in this bar than there are in these bars. But our mean gets pulled by any super large or super small values. So our mean might be over here it's getting pulled towards the tail. In general, you know, these are just approximations for where I'm setting them, but in general, on a skewed right distribution, your median is going to be less than your mean, and your median is going to be the better measure of center. Think back if you watched our videos on comparing measures of center, think back to that salary example that we did and how that $1,000, $100,000 salary pulled that mean up and made the median a better estimator of a typical value. In our skewed left distribution, it's basically the opposite. So here, the mean is being pulled down by these small values. So our mean might be somewhere around here. And our median might be somewhere up here. 
In general, though, for a skewed left distribution, your mean will be smaller than your median. And again, your median will tend to be the better estimator for a central value. All right, guys, those are just a couple shapes of distributions and how the shape of the distribution is going to affect its measures of center. We'll catch you guys in the next video.